I have great memories of my bro- of because I shared a room with my brothers. How many brothers, brothers do you have? I got two brothers. And they had the posters. Oh, yeah, all that stuff. But I remember like. The refund of the it, bed. Yeah, and so my brother Scott was going to a lot of shows. He went to. He, like, Everything. He saw everything. Every he would come down to LA week. and he would see Van Hill, whatever. He saw all that stuff. And I have the, like I have great memories of waking up in the morning on like a school morning and my brother being like sacked out in the the bed below mine and just seeing his like crisp new concert t shirt from the night before laid out on his chair, you know. I just I, like I remember seeing like the the mob rules, you know, three quarter length sleeve just kind of draped over. Just, oh, man. When I was growing I up, it. you couldn't wear a concert t shirt unless you went to that fucking concert. <laughs> right. Like people would stop you. Come here. Did you go to that concert? Take the fucking shirt. How could you get it if you didn't go to the concert? Be- no, because people would still like if you go to the concert, bring me your shirt. That would oh, okay. be cool. When I was like, the other night some girl had a shirt on, some young girl at the rec room, and I felt like saying, just give me one album that they wrote. Right. Yeah. <laughs> just give me one album. I was going to say, just hum, hum yeah, one song. Just hum one band. fucking song. <laughs> you know, my friend said he went to see the dead in Boulder. He's an old deadhead. And he goes, you know, just as a trick, just as a treat, I wanted to treat myself. You know, uh, Mayor is fucking tremendous on that tour. Let me go out to college. This was a couple of years ago. He called me like the show started at 7.30, Colorado time, which is like 5.30 here. I got a call like by fucking half hour later. He said he had to leave Red Rocks. <laughs> there was just a bunch of rich white kids with fucking uh, Grateful Dead shirts on smoking pot. And that upset him? He- oh, he, this guy followed them. <laughs> you know, this guy didn't take showers for eight days to go to a dead show. And now he shows up and there's all these kids pulling up in BMWs with dead T-shirts ripped, you know, to show them like they, stop, <laughs> stop. You're not allowed in here. You can't wear that shirt. Okay. You didn't go to the show. How are you going to wear that shirt? I saw they've got like a Grateful Dead line at James Purse. I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's that's got to bum your friend out pretty hard. Oh, it bums me out. <laughs> it bums me out. Name one fucking, you know, I had to fucking get on the bus and go see these shows and fight Puerto Ricans to get into, the fucking, <laughs> to get into New York City. You know how hard uh, it was to get, like, ACDC, Def Leppard tickets, you know, in 81, 80. Like, it was rough to go in there. People would take your shit. I remember the Ozzy Osbourne, some guy just jumped on my friend and started dry humping him during the concert. He had to throw a beat on the guy during the fucking concert. <laughs> shit, the cops came. You earned that shirt. You had to earn that fucking shirt. I remember the first show that I went to, that Dio show. You know, this was in 83, so it was maybe a couple years after that. Like, all those people had been trampled to death at that Who concert in Cincinnati. That's or right, that that's was. right. And, as a, and I was like, you know, 12 or whatever. I remember just being in there going like, oh, shit. Some some crazy shit's gonna go down. It's being on edge until the show kind of got going. I was like, okay, okay, I think I'm safe. I got it. Well, and, and I'm I, I'm can't believe I'm blanking on his name. Who was the guy who came in here? He does all the traveling now. Um, he was in. He's in a, a heavy like a heavy metal band, and he said his fans used to punch him during the show. Oh, Sid Quirin. No. No, he, he has all the tattoos. He does the podcast. Henry Rollins. Henry Rollins. He said he used to get in fights mid-show. He was. Oh like, yeah, that was a different world of punk. Yeah. That's, that's a, crazy. That's a different People. world. That's that was eighties punk, right? Yeah, I mean that was. I'm sure he's. You know, I can't remember the name of that. Had some rough times. Yeah, that was that Black was, Flag. I think. Black Flag. That's right, Black Flag. <laughs> what the fuck are you giggling about? Nobody. <laughs> He did an era. I knew a second ago, but no. <laughs> keep, keep going from where you told it, because then. Okay. <laughs> you know that little forehead you got? 